Hello, this is Mark with Custom Desktop Solutions, home of the Desktop Dispatcher and the iDispatcher apps for the iPhone and iPad. This video is going to demonstrate the creation and synchronization of a work order using a, the uh, Desktop Dispatcher Pro on a Windows 7 machine. And we're going to synchronize it to the iDispatcher Pro app running on the new iPad. We'll start by creating a new work order on the desktop, entering in the job phone and billing phone numbers and you'll notice it populates the contact information for us on the work order. We can also create and edit the uh, work orders based on the address so we don't have to use the phone number. Enter in the what needs to be done. We'll set a date for it and then assign the job to a technician. And just like that the work order is ready to go. You'll notice that it's even showing the current uh, service history for that location right on a work order as we type in a job. When we click on the link we'll be uh, shown detailed information about previous work that we've done at that location. We'll just click this button to make it available for the tech to synchronize with in the field with the app which they'll just tap the button to sync with desktop, choose the manual connection option, enter the IP address of the computer that's hosting the desktop dispatcher, once the connection is made, they click Start Sync, and the information is transferred. Now this bit does require a little bit of uh, port forwarding to be configured on the desktop to allow the connection to be made. But you can see once that connection is made, the data is synchronized. It's all available to the technician right on his iPad. Now from here, they can edit the work order, change what needs to be done or what they did on site. They can enter in their start times and their departure times. And they can select payment methods. Pretty much edit just about anything on the work order. You'll see that they have their service history available to them right on the job. When they tap on it, they can see detailed information about the previous work orders that were done. This is the same app, by the way, that runs on the iPhone. It's just displayed in different set of layouts that uh, formatted more effectively for the iPad. And if you navigate around, you have the uh, array of buttons at the top that keep you in layouts that are formatted for the iPad. You have the service histories, equipment lists, customer contact information, and everything right at your fingertips. You can also use the selector wheel over here on the corner in the top left to change the layout that you're navigating to. You can create new work orders on the iPad and sync them back to the desktop. You can enter in parts that are used just by entering a part number from the pick list. The app will fill in the price and the description for you based off the information that is synchronized in the inventory table right in the app. You can tap a link button to see detailed information about that piece of equipment including the markups and uh, pricing for the information. We can go back to a work order. The technician also has access to a second tab up here at the top where they can click uh, one of two different maps. We have a map from MapQuest and a map from Google Maps that they can use to get directions right to the location. They can also edit the notes that are associated with that work order. They can tap to record an audio message that will synchronize back to the desktop and even take a photo or even insert from a photo library. When the work order is completed, the uh, technician can allow the customer to sign the work order and then change the status from open to complete. If they tap on the right side, they'll have a pick list that'll show up, allowing them to enter in one of the options from the pick list. If they tap on the left side, they're allowed to edit the uh, status to enter in whatever they want. Just like the phone number fields up here at the top, the right side allows you to select from the pick list. The left side allows you to enter in custom information if you want to add a new or different phone number that's not in your list. We made the fields adjustable this way because when you click into the field, the pick list actually covers the field so you can't double tap into it. Now, 
that the uh, information is complete, work order is ready to be synced back to the desktop. They'll hit the button to sync with desktop, manual connection, connect, and the synchronization takes place again. And this is going to put all of this information on the related record in the desktop. You'll see that we've got the item that we just entered on the work order in the field, along with the arrival and departure times, as well as the signature showing in a different layout because we just don't have room on this screen. And we'll go back to the work order on the iPad. Now from here, the technician can even send a PDF invoice or work order to the customer right from the app. The uh, work order will not show the pricing. The invoice will. You can choose that we only used inventory items. And there's a PDF of the work order complete with the signature. You can customize the header with your company contact information and even your logos on the left and the right side of the header. Once the work order is ready to be emailed, you just tap the email button from this layout, choose attach PDF, and it's reading the uh, default email addresses right off of the work order and CCing a copy to the office. When you hit send, it'll open up the default uh, iPad email client, allowing you to add additional recipients from your contact list. When you hit send, away it goes. And we'll go back to the iPad layout and we'll just refresh and bring up our mail. It should be here momentarily. There it is. We'll go in and get that. And here's that PDF we just emailed ourselves. And we're back at the app. That about sums up the features in the app for the iDispatcher Pro on the iPad third generation iPad. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at mark with a K at customdesktopsolutions.com or call us at 561-714-5240. We'll be happy to help you set up the port forwarding to uh, try this with the demo version of the desktop dispatcher available on our website at desktopdispatcher.com. Thanks for watching.